Hola, bonjour, guten tag, konnichiwa, bitches. What's good? What's up? What's happening? <laughs> uh, I had a little bit of a break. Had a little bit of a break. I'm back. I'm back. Damn, I left the stove on. <laughs> Shit. And Max was good though. Max was a good. Max was a good. I'm glad I made him. <laughs> Wish I left the fucking stove on though. God damn. All right. I took a break. I was feeling some type of way. I'm back more horizon i'm gonna uh let's see what it's 6 35 right now i'm gonna try and go for like 10 out because i need to i gotta knock it out i gotta knock it out um wait discord does this work did it go Oh, wait, it looks like it didn't go. Oh? Why not? I see something. I'm not sure what the hell. Let's see. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> All right, that's donezo. I set up everything correctly. I think resume activity gets me back in faster. Yes. Much faster. Where am I? I'm next to the uh, cauldron. Yeah? Yeah, next to the cauldron. Okay, wait. How do these buttons... Ah, the square and triangle are still kind of sticky. God damn it. <laughs> I thought I fixed this problem. I'll have to get in there again. Oh, yeah. Supposed to find uh, her, whoever she is. Over here. So much on it. Lord. All right. I wonder if there's why. Why does it keep highlighting chain scrape? That's not where I'm supposed to go. At all. Okay. Oh, fighting something. What's up? Is that who I think it is? to wait for an opening what's up care to join the hunt for sure for sure now the fun starts wait huh? 
A uh, long leg. Hey, what's up? Hold on, where's your uh, where's your good part? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh. Okay. Where's your good part? Where's your good part? Where's your good part? Where's your good part? E upgrade. Tag it. Okay, I got you. I missed. Oh, oh my god. How uneven this ground is. I have the high ground. And I missed. Okay. I need to go away. Huh? All right, there's one. Ooh. All right. I'm out. How am I out? No. Hold it. Hold it. No, hold it. Oh, there it is. Ooh, that was bad for me. Kind of. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. It's gone. It's over. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Emma. We can, uh. What is? Uh. Nest. Oh! Please. Are they all going after me? Oh! What's good? Where are you at? <laughs> Come over here and have, help me fight. Fuck. Son of a beach. There it is. Okay. Uh huh. Where's the fucking? Give me a pack. There we go. Likewise. There we go. Over here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Rough terrain. You walking, huh? What's up? What? Up? Mind me, I'm just collecting resources. Hmm? What's this? Ah. Sunhawk Talana came Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined yeah, the Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Unga, you've been talking about me? What's up? Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, <laughs> and now he's missing. He thought he was on that big boy shit, but it turns out. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. 
We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. Ah, uh, so you sweet on him. I understand. New thrush. So, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last oh, what's up? time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. The Hunter Killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. Mm -hmm. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. Alright, I'm still trying to unstick these buttons. Need help? I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own okay. reasons for Triangle feels to good. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle <laughs> to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Aloy never learned that lesson. Will she be okay? <laughs> Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. That's not what we're doing. What we're getting into. Oh, she's booking it. I like this. She's faster than me? Let's go. You said it was I don't have to slow fields. down. The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. I hate that I can't collect while I'm sliding. That's the one thing I need. You think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it, this is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Oi. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Oh, no, I already voted. What kind of question is that? <laughs> uh, uh, well, we already talked about it. Anyway. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadas was supposed to be alone. Why were Osirum here? Hmm. 
white prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. <laughs> Talana, I think I got something. You want to move? Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. At a campfire? Let's go. It's the Nutaru. What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's How ask Anders? him. Oh, hold on a sec. Let me guess. Your stragglers got left behind when the wagon. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. <laughs> Lel. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here. Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakt. Most burned. But others, the Tanakt marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What mm. is it? A Tanakt prison or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west in Tanakt territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Appreciate you, Lel. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm, I'm hearing something. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. Oh Just fuck! Like old times. Hey, you knew, you knew my guy was good with you. What's up with you, eh? Ah, uh, you got all parts of parts and bits. Look at you. Where's the important one? Usable weapon. That's all right. Mark that. Ah. Unsword. He upgrade. some rocks on You heard that one. What are those parts?
Hey, what's up? Oh! Okay, okay, I got you. Oh, oh, he's digging. More ammo coming your way. Oh, oh my God. Oh. God damn. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Is that the whole? I think that's like parts. They might be holding in parts of the show. <laughs> oh! I'm stuck in rocks. Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh. How, 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 how? Help, help, help. God damn it. Snapper shell bolts. Oh, next time we're gonna break off that weapon and see what that's about. <laughs> what we got here? Uh, coil agility damage, fifteen percent. I'm gonna brainstem large machine core shell snap circulating. Okay, cool. <sighs> I had to do the embers of that one basically the entire time.
Uh, where are you? <laughs> Over here. I'd do it. Uh, there we go. I'm gonna fuck with this square button a little bit. feels a little weird. Does it work for now though? Okay, triangle feels like good, good. There you are. Let's go. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave-in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? Rock barrier. I still need some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. of Osram supplies. A dead end. There's not much else in here. Better head back to the main tunnel. Lana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? An Osram. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. Then it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Are you sure? Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. Hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milo at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tawana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. No way past. Hmm. Need to know. Unhold until someone finds a way across the mountain. Okay. Seven west. Closest to this one? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Wait about it here first. Oh, wait, where? Damn it. I was supposed to take a picture next to the corpse. Like I usually do. Yep. 
Oh, here it is. Nice. <laughs> Thought it disappeared at first. Uh, nowhere. Here, I wish I could move this fucking rock. I think this is fine. Now. Facial expression is supposed to be... Doubt. Wait, uh, back. Huh. <laughs> I should lean up against that rock. That's good. Uh, where is it? There you go. All right. I hear it, man. It's doing things and things. I could go over here, but no long walk sites. Uh. I guess I just, um, no. Yeah, oh no, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way around. Actually, yeah, it does seem like there is. Over here, next to this long tall neck. Okay. Plain song, river him. Well, this one's the closest. I might as well start making my way there. Uh, where's the campfire with a workbench? Because I feel like I need that. Uh, right here. You can buy fast shovel packs. It's fine. We'll be fine. Uh huh. Okay. Shock warrior bow. Eh. Nora champion. This one looks the best. Uh, long leg. Okay, yeah. That's what I needed. All right. Match upgrade. Spike holster. Okay. Yeah, skill points. I need to try. Those other options. Craft more ammunition for the same amount of resources. Six. I got six. I'm just using heavy weapons. Triple notch. I can just afford this right now. That's so fucking valuable. <laughs> I 
Concentration. Right, I keep forgetting. Shock defense. Okay, so you can't just slot me as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. It just popped in. I was like, I'm not seeing the long legs. Shock could do a lot of damage. Oh, Lord. Wait, 
Very good. Giving up. I am hearing a lot of bang. I just don't. Know. I just don't know about it. Hmm. Interesting. So, but this nest. Oh, well, that's just the base, you know? Then they, uh, unknown fire was back site, of course. Where the hell? Okay, that's weird. Whoops. <laughs> Where did it go? What's happening? I don't have the override data for that machine yet. I better look in more culprits.
acid missile back. Ah, damn. Why notch arrows? Excuse me. Holding L2, top R1, love another. Okay. No! something here hmm okay why are these on the same okay dude Hold on, I gotta pee. Okay, I'm back, but also this uses weapon stamina? Like a small amount, why? Hmm. So it seems more like I have to 
I have to pick one of these. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think that volley's gonna be useful. Or at least I don't think I'm gonna use it that much though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, I wish it didn't reset all of them. I wish it was, uh, like just the tree I was on. That's all I want. Hmm. Okay. Good redistribution. Yeah, good redistribution. No. Oh my god.
triple notching is the truth. <laughs> Sick trade. Worth it. More rocks. I think <clears throat> I think that's enough crystal back plus. I think I got enough. Hold on. Those are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen in the daunt. Time to see what the eclipse are up to. Those machines look like they've been overridden. I better be careful. Okay, now we got workers. Mm, it's Punisher, but this is fire and plasma. No fire yet. Is that a chicken? What is that? There's a... <laughs> Some scrappers. If I want to fix the override for them. Whoa! My bad. I have to come look. There! You see her? I need to get into those ruins and find out what they're up to. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm mad stealthy. Ruthless. Should use shock ammo. There was the I need to take care of any eclipse guards still around. Well, what's the rush? Not a single one of those fucking hit. What was I need it? To take care of any eclipse guards still around. Okay, Aloy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I really wasn't sure if you saw me. <laughs> I 
I know I pierced his brain with like <laughs> three arrows, but. How did he see me? Shut that machine down quick with shock ammo. Down there as well. Some kind of signal. There's people here. Utaru. Are they being forced to excavate these ruins? Take care of any Eclipse guards still around. To take care of any of the still around. God damn. <laughs> A notch and three arrows is the truth. <laughs> Take care of any eclipse guards still around. Okay, Aloy. What am I locking on to? Is it that? 
I have an iron. We're at like the border of where this zone is, so I'm gonna. I need to take care of any eclipse guards still around. Better fill up like can. A little closer. Come a little closer. Oh, fuck. That was an excellent. <laughs> doing hey I can help you get in Ooh. let's talk I don't know. it won't open from this side it's got some kind of special lock Clips, bastards. <laughs> Good riddance. So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen, if you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. Where? We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's hold up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for plain song. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be more worried about the ones still inside. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. So the Eclipse abducted you? Yeah. I was out, uh, exploring a couple weeks ago when they caught me. Exploring? Well, more like wandering and looking for scraps. Plain Song isn't such a fun place to be right now. Not much food, not much to do. Mm. Of course, it's a thousand times better than this cesspool. Next time, I'll stay closer to home. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You mm. should probably head back and miss my chance to deliver some payback. I want to help. Are well, you gonna Stay die? Here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. some walking around. 
one from in there. Don't like it. Must have been some battle the old ones fought here. Can I... New data point. Hold on. This place is under siege. We will reap our destiny. Hold on. What if we else I can't get it. No, it's right here. recording all foreign positions overrun can't raise usrc bottom line we're dog meat any goddamn suggestions still got an fae when the bots pour in we detonate blow up a whole lot of tin cans take them with us spiteful i like it make it happen see you in the sky soldier hmm Can I? No, I can't get it there. Not yet. That's my way in. I'll save the extra stock for later. Uh, vertical shock traps are now available to craft. Special traps. They have flying targets as well as enemies on the ground. It was done. Vulnerable targets for shock damage. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. All right. Good time to pull out shock ammo. top of me and maybe three ribs left fae hasn't blown which means that the engineers are dead gotta cut myself out of here and it's gonna hurt but you know what they say if you want something done by We 
won't start with Meridian. The known world will tremble as our shadow stretches across the land. Someone must have seen something. Only I can lead you. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power of death itself. Can't take advantage of that. Mind me. It was an accident, bro. Men of shadow. I'm in trouble now. The blood <laughs> of our slaves see this ancient battle. And soon we will reap our destiny. by acid. I thought they would just explode.
Oh my god. Motherfucker. But jump it. So much for the guards. Now for their leader. Those speakers have to be connected to a power source soon. Probably inside that big structure. We are free. That's where we'll find him. Free to conquer. Very good. Oh, uh, there we go. Taru prisoners. I gotta let them out. Outlander? Quick. Who is she? Help us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Blessed thing! Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. <laughs> sure. For the bad guys. All of you. But don't worry, I got this. I finish this. I'm the main character. Now, to take care Only of Ezra. I can give you the death. Only I can lead you. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power of death itself. I wonder if he found a gun. That's what it was, just like a straight up gun. Time's up. Warbots are right outside. Inputting detonation sequence. 
Alpha, Charlie, Echo. Shit. Safety switches won't disengage. No time to do it manually. It's over. I failed. God, if you're listening, look out for my little girl. Hmm. Oh boy, look at this battle arena. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. <sighs> the savior of Marie. How kind of you to deliver. Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. Well, now they're alert. That Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. Oh! Oh my god. What the fuck? Did he forget? Oh, I missed. Oh my god, I'm stuck. No, please die. <laughs> Run, Aloy, run!
I guess he repaired it. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. <laughs> the others. I, I told them to hide. Are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. <sighs> Thanks, Yef. Listen. Sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades. Said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? Mm. I don't know. But I intend to find out. Looks like Vezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Find out if there's any more eclipse we need to worry about. Loyal eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. Hmm. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Could look around with my focus. Say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Mm -hmm. That's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. Name Yef. What did you find? Mm -hmm. Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you. If you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plain Song. I hope you make it there. Hmm. Plain Song. Gotcha, gotcha. It's a good thing I did this before I went there. Rumi just handed me some eggnog. Oh, what is that? I seen you glitching out over there. You know what? I don't want to walk out of here. I just want to. <laughs> I just want to get out on me. Playing song, but hold up, hold up, hold on. Hmm. I don't know if I could disrupt the camp a little bit. I think we could. Fire gleam. Yeah, I should uh hit that fire gleam spot up. See see what's good. There's a lot I can do. Oh fuck with this rubble camp.
Hmm. and zoom while aiming. Ah. And I think this will be three. I don't have enough to get there. Oh, this is the sharp shot bow, too. So it's a bit different. Yo. Take this damage while mounted. That's pretty tight. Not bad. With that going on over there. It looks like the rebels have a camp in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up to. They've got riders patrolling the area. Gotta be careful. It's good for that machine with shock ammo.
<laughs> Bro's is like, oh well. <laughs> Looks like my rider is dead. <laughs> Easy. Spotted. I just threw a rock. What? Y'all load the gates back up or? Nah. Nah, bro, they heard a rock. They heard a rock at the ground, so look, look, close the gates. <laughs> Here, maybe turn around, go away. Get out of here. If I want to figure out what's going on here, I need to find out who's in charge. I have to come look. Did you see that? Hey! Go around with you! Be ready for a fight! I'm not even here, bro.
that way. Keep your eyes open. Already on it. Oh my god. There's so many. So, see anything? Can't we smoke them out somehow? Could be playing a flag on Found anything? Hey, don't worry about me. I think it just takes maybe one to break the shield, but like. Can we pick up the pace? You can see I'm still searching. Uh oh. Get her! Uh oh. It's over. <laughs> okay. You okay? This is taking too long. We're dangerous. We're coming for you. We start here. You better have my back. Huh? I'm ready for you. Oh no. Oh. We're under attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Follow my lead. You got it. There's four left. Oh, three of them are on the high ground now.
What's up, bitch? Hmm. Bro. <laughs> this is why I can't have teammates. How do I get over there? She must be back. I need backup. Firing now. They need help. Oh, fuck. What up, my guy? Here we go. Oh. Oh, interesting. Go. No, it's me. Some these structures as a command center. The outline of the <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, what I have, he's cool, my guy. What's the good with you? Dead. See you later. Oh, they got so much loot. It's a stat. I feel like we're gonna take over this uh, place after this. So they got a stash here and a campfire and all that. Well, at least we're there soon enough. I think I like going loud better. All right. Loyal to Nox. Hear me. I was told a soldier from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next fool who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. Mm. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. May our pact lead to victory. So Regala's not working alone. These sons of Prometheus gave her the ability to override machines. Hmm. Sons of Prometheus. 
Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. Empty blaze canisters? Looks like they were trying to stock up on blaze. Enough to blow up something big. A map of the Daunt. Tracking movement in and out of barren light. With emphasis on the fort's weak points. They're gonna blow up barren light. Make a hole big enough to fit an entire army. Mm. So Regala plans on invading the Sundom. At least when she gets an army big enough to do it. I have to get rid of that blaze. To find the blaze stockpile. Blaze. Mm -hmm. I've got to get rid of any blaze that's lying around. Either way, my job is done here. Yeah, okay. Hmm, wait, is there a... Where does that lead? Does that go somewhere? It's like a whole... Uh, it's probably blocked off, but... I should keep an eye out for more of these rebel camps. Stop them from stirring up trouble. I need to find out more about these sons of Prometheus. Stop them from helping the rebels slaughter their own people. Not to mention the Karja. Okay. Rebel camp taken care of. Uh oh yeah, this fire gleam here at this uh ruin. I'm gonna check and see what's up here. Hoist. Damn, I could have came off this way? Fuck. Wish I had no. I'm okay. Just catching my breath. Cool. Where are you going? Fuck. Good 
good use of this. I wonder if I can get up this way. Oh god. Alright. Say no. Gotta go back. I couldn't get far enough away. <laughs> okay, that is done. inside. Okay, let's see what oh. we can find around here. I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> So, now where does that go? Is the question. There's some kind of relic in there. There we go. But how to reach it? Looks like this door is locked. Maybe there's another way in. A 
Ghost and Gleam up here as well. Some kind of device here. So that goes. Where? All right, there as well. Looks like this thing needs power. This could be used. Huh. <sighs> VIP key. Beware. Uh, tonight, after hours at the Zion Museum. Oh, damn. That shower party? Yeah, I'll see. I'm there. Good. So, can you keep a secret? Isn't the whole party a secret? I mean, we are crashing your workplace. -y. Not crashing. I'm organizing a pioneering party of the century with an exhibit to go with it. Okay. But more importantly, if you use the VIP code 2204 you can get into the office on the second floor that's where the real party will be okay the VIPs will be there too 204 um okay Oh, but it looks like it's out of power. I was wondering why it was red. So we put it in here to charge it, maybe? I think I can slot this energy cell into that device. No, there we go. There we go. Charge the energy cell. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I want to discharge the energy in the cell. I got to power it up again. Okay. But how do we... Do I have to drain the water somehow? All right. Where I got the energy cell from? Nothing here.
Machines weak to fire. God damn it. Well, I'm not getting up there that easily. I gotta find something that can help. A rush of air. but it's still sticky. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. First off, for the door looks like it needs power mm -hmm. gotta get the charged energy cell across the water but oh this will be in my stash when i need it can't jump with the thing because it's too heavy. I, don't, I think I need both crates? Question mark? Because there's another one. I'm not entirely sure how to get it here. I'm not entirely sure if that's it. They want me to like sort of bring it around. Ah. 
Zero clue. I think they just want me to grab the other crate, but I'm not sure. So let's get it, I guess. Uh, is it? Damn it. Here we go. This crate might be useful. No. Okay, that's not the answer. Uh, okay, wait, I think I got it now. Okay, then I guess I need to push and pull. So it's not like so sudden.
on the door above should have power now I gotta move the crate again okay this thing has power now. I'm in. Okay, got the relic. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. All right. I might want to take another look around. See if I can find anything else. Why? No, I won't. I'm done, Aloy. What the fuck is up here? What would even be over there? Let's take a look, I guess. Ah, fire gun. Ah. Uh. It's strange I might trade for something good. That short sure trip was worth it. The roots of that vine are a village for him to not constant attack by some operators. That must put all down much longer. Oh! River him a bit of ways away. But. Shelter, a charger site. Ugh. This is like going past where we need to go. Ah! I thought, you know what? We can save it for later. Let's set the plane song. That is way out of the way. All right, this is a, this is a bit more manageable there. That's there, riding the plane is on. This is interesting. They've got like, they've got like the, um, the blight like sectioned off sort of into like almost gardens. And I'm wondering what that's about. Like if they, I mean, they must know more about it. 
Like they're like surrounded by it. It seems like they're using it as like a defense or something. But I'm right here. Can I just... All right. There's Shoy. There's the tall neck. Okay, it's yeah. Well, we're in plain song territory, so that's actually fine. I was worried for a minute. <laughs> oh damn! I wanted to. I wanted to get that. Oh, I did pass one though. Okay. Let me get on the main road. I'll just go backwards. Motherfuck! Will you please? I need to work on anything. Let me hold on. What is? Oh no, that's too far away. Let me discover the site real quick. All right. Is it just charges here? Usually there's like another more aggressive like protector robot. But I guess not this time. What y'all been up to, huh? I was been hanging out. What's up? I'm here, as promised. But singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Lamb God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. Mm. Well, tell them to get over it. <laughs> How did Varl help? You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. 
<laughs> Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. This button is giving me so many problems. Deep divisions. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. Mm. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. Mm. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. I like a bunch of bow to me. Defensive cordon. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. And they're going crazy behind me. What kind of machines? What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers but they're tougher than any we fought before more vicious with a strange purple glow oh Sounds familiar apex you fought machines like these if they are what i think they are then yeah there may be a whole other problem in that cave all the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out I need something sharper. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. Yeah, like just not listening and walking in. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above. Where the chorus is. The fuck they gonna do to stop me? I'm Aloy. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we just. You'll want to talk to me if you plan on surviving out here. Okay, will you let me talk to you? There's much happening. What's the tea? Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsong. Mm -hmm. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Utaro could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Oh, he's up there. This chorus is going kind of crazy. <laughs> So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regal as champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. All right. I prefer the sound of machines to singing. See here we got slicing hunter bows, warrior bow, hard weave, sharp shot bow. I need a grazer, circulator. Have I not run into a fucking grazer yet? Yes, there's slicing short lines. Oh, because I have one. That's why. Let's see. 
Are there any grazers nearby? Shit. Oh wait, I'm I'm on the cell menu. What? That was a mistake. I mean, at at twenty five shards pop, that's pretty cheap. It's awesome. Grazer is not what I'm thinking of. Because those are just like. Because there were chargers and then there were like. There was something else you could. Uh... Something else you could get. Or, uh, yeah. Something else that was similar to charger. As I get my supplies up. Uh, this uh, 68, 60 damage. I mean, do I need that? It's a sharp shot, though. That means it's particularly. I have now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see the difference. <laughs> you see the difference. Yeah. You want to create a job for that? I could. I know. I'm heading back to the hunting grounds. Charming as ever. Nervous. Bringing an Outlander before the chorus. Have armor and garments to I sell. hope this works. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see oh, are you a dyer? different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. Have some samples if you're interested. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 It's nothing compared to the Tanakh dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. No Take a moment to Damn, if only I had more crimson bloom. That would be great. May the wind carry you. All oh, these people gathered. Sharp Reminds me of Mother's heart back in the Nora Sacred Lands. My God, get out of the way. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss home. A little. So the singing just keeps going. <laughs> the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. 
I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? There you go. All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. If I can get it, it so will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. <laughs> she has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. What's that from the cordon? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Let's go! Then off we go. Would have been the perfect time to use a glider, but okay. This way! Out the gate and around! Fighting in the fields ahead. These machines don't look normal. I've seen these machines before. They must have come from the cordon. The others will get Yeah, Apex. We have to move. I'm getting info. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? All right. Um, yeah. Ah. 
Oh, sorry. Hold up. Let me just take some things. More machines. Something ignited. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. It was more than just my and a missing land god in that cave. going <laughs> I'm on target Okay Well hold on the path of the land gods it'll lead us to the cordon on fire bristle black side more machines we can take them out aloy on your lead I heard the machines to you. oh fuck to find it's oh no okay better Ah, the tail. We need to keep moving. Can the others hold out? Fuck. You're attacking me. God damn it. Got it. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? 
Oh, damn. Got him. All right. Where are we right now? Oh, my God. We're going... Out of in here? The cordon. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be moved when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. Hmm. Hold up. Scar's bearing up. Storm's over. May the land gods forgive our trespass. That ahead, like a cauldron door. Repair bay. All right. Understand what's going on in there. You're gonna need one of these. Oh hell yeah! Give her a focus. On the temple, just like this. Okay. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Bravo, Varl. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. Mm. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. Mm -hmm. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. to find the core of this place there's so much metal who built this place machines not like any you've seen before machines in here we'll have to take them out right behind Battle is 
Oh, fuck. Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said, it wants us dead. It takes over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called a Festus. Even the mountain is rotted to the roots. are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those panels on the floor? Hmm. That panel on the floor looks more raised than the others. Ah. Oh. Standing on this floor panel, activated something. Looks like parts of those pillars are melting. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. How are you doing, Zelda? This place was meant for the land gods. N no Utaru has ever set foot in here. But I had to, okay. right? To help you and Aeroin. To find Fa. You did the right thing, so. That worked! That did something. <laughs> that did something. Position. What's that thing beyond the wall? It's massive, whatever it is. Oh, Lord. Uh, what do I need to stand on? If, if that's, if that's what I need to do. You want to stand on that panel over there? Is there something I'm? Did you find a way across, Aloy? I'm working on it. Another oh. floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down.
crate should be heavy enough. There's a crate now. Can't fit the crate through that opening. Over here? I was just assuming it wouldn't fit. I think I can get the crate through that shield, but I'll have to go around. Should be exposed now. Should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. I'll keep some extra on hand. Real trouble with that is I had to wait for each one. Yep. I guess I'll just move forward. No catch up. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Looks like there's another node on the other side, near that door. Go do your thing. Activate. Careful, Matrix. Fine. Oh, to get to that node on the other side.
I there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I climb. Oh. Zo. Zo, will you be joining us? facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile they used to be part of something good something called Gaia more of those cables covering that door Sooner or later, we'll be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Mm hmm. Gotta take down. It's unfortunate. Be a node. I can Rimhorn. To shut it down. 
the launcher tail capsule. What's the upgrade? There it is. Grim horn, grim horns. Indestructible. Okay, and cluster launcher. Oh, I got it. It's on. That's it. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah, shit. Trying to get the horns, damn it. for a god or a machine but because i no longer know what to believe look so if you want you can go back home do i still have one and if so for how long can you really heal our lands save my people It's still red. Hit it again. Not bad. But 
we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. Overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Crafted overrides. Wish I knew how to restore them. And there's data here from machines. I wow, Horan. Whistle back? Hmm. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Hold on. Mm, damn. Greetings, graduates of Cradle Nine. Welcome to the regional error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Oh no. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Locked. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Let's see where this leads. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Oh, I'm close. If 
I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Shaft. Another one. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Looks like some kind of dome. Wonder what it's for. Yo. What you mad because I penetrated your system core? like this do you remember it anything you were part of something bigger once something good Gaia that's right she can live again but only if you give her the chance I can't reboot her without you. Goodbye. Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. That's okay. We'll cease. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Plug it in. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here it goes.
Yo. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. Mm. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Hmm. Um. Okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well, you. Hmm. Uh. So no fake this time. No. This time she's real. Borrow. So. This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still uh waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. All right. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Tight. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Where are you poking around? This is brand new to you. What? What you, what you doing poking around? So this was supposed to be the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below appears terminal. to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Fabrication terminal. Hold up. Before we examine what we're fabricating, I gotta pee. Okay, uh, I need to make myself dinner before people start going to sleep, and I wake them up with all my clattering and whatnot. I'll be right back.
Thank you.
back i got burgers <laughs> and some chips all right <coughs> oh damn investigation of the fabrication hmm uh fanghorn override override uh craft this override to unlock the ability you can craft overrides okay that's crazy I, I wouldn't have been there with that fight anyway, because I needed uh, I needed three. Hmm, that's interesting. For radar, for primary nerve. Ah, uh, sure.
Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Very. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Hmm. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. Elevator shaft. Uh, okay, I think we've been everywhere. Where is, uh, oh, there she is. What's this area? Nothing, guy? Okay. What's up with you? You talk? No? All right. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Okay, hold on. Says. Back already? I might want to look around more first. I'll come with you then. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Hmm. I wanted to, like, uh, all clear me on the, uh, exploring the base. I wonder if I'll do that. I should. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Hmm. Aloy. Reminds me of the bed house aspirants have, have to sleep in the night all before the approval. Rooms of the facility. All right. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Hmm. The stranger. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of 
Strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. <laughs> Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. Mm. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Which planet? Okay, so... What's so far away and... and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless it didn't. Unless. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Hmm. Then I guess it would make sense why their shit is so advanced. <laughs> We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. That means we have a chance. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Mm. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Hmm. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Oh boy. 
the cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. Oh boy. But in all other respects, it will suffice. All right. Zenos. Oh God. Uh, how did you track this? Again? How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, seventeen point two two years. Doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Mm. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration halved gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Hmm. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, Perhaps. I hope so. Or I'm not going to be winning fights against them anytime soon. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target. And the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Travis Tate? The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Hmm. It's, uh... I think it's a case of her not knowing the power that she holds. <clears throat> Or maybe she doesn't maybe she doesn't really hold that much power because if they have her genetic data they can just clone her again if uh the first one is uh defiance in fact they may have already done that 
The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Mm. Extinction, instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. So, extinguish the current Earth in order to build a new one? But why? Just for the good... Just for the control? You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0. 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Hmm. Ah, uh, the best order of functions. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? <laughs> All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Mm -hmm. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. The storms. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. Light. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Mm. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. They don't got their mama. Exactly. Missing support functions. The missing support <clears throat> functions. What can you tell me about them? Why are they gone? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Mm -hmm. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066. By order of Ted Farrow. That motherfucker. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. <laughs> he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. Much like a rogue All AI. missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Mm -hmm. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Hmm. It could it be that the others have already gotten to them? Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> About Hephaestus. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? 
Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Mm. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Why wait to subdue Hephaestus? I mean, we know why, but... Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Mm -hmm. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity. Exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay. How do we trap Hephaestus? See, that's a good question. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Could Hephaestus help defeat the Zenus? So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Mm. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill. Naturally. No matter how aggressive the enemy. Of course. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Okay. Wait, so there are more questions about the Zenith? Or is it an Did I not hit this one? Damn. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship. I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? I did hit this one. Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually, for example, Assuming I absorbed Hephaestus okay. and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Mm. Always. There's always hope. The biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, 
The biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Right, right. <clears throat> Get Aether, Demeter, and uh, the other one, and then Hephaestus. How long do we have? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Damn. And if I gather ether, Demeter, Poseidon. Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Okay. Well, every bit counts. Every bit helps. Let's get started. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Yeah. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. That's crazy. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. Okay. <laughs> Ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. That's what I'm saying. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. The west, you say? Unfortunately, the forbidden I am west. unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? <laughs> oh, they're telling me what levels they are. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I'm on level 18 right now, so ether. I think I'll head for ether. Then I will assign ether as the objective on your focus. Tight. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Yes. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. <laughs> she had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. Mm. In you, all things are possible. 
You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Mm. Gaia's opened the, the subtitles are being a little wonky. Can you and Zill meet me by the west door? Be right there. I was gonna say, learn about the other day. Okay. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I didn't have that black box turned on. I had it on for a bit and then I turned it off a little bit. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Nice. Aloy. Below you will find a summary of the support functions I have included. A preliminary analysis of how to retrieve Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. Will allow you to affect <clears throat> modest correction in the biosphere. I hope you'll find it useful. Aether, Alpha Project Lead Anders Larsen, Stress Plastic the Processing Density 6.8, Detoxification Stabilization of Earth's Atmosphere, Tanakh Territory. Aether should result in improved. Okay. Demeter 8.3. 39. Okay, yeah. 17. Poseidon 7.6. Okay, let's see. Retrieval of Poseidon should result in improved uh, watershed conditions in the region, reducing the publication of toxic red algae. What's up with uh, Demeter? Uh, retrieval of Demeter should result in improved soil conditions in the region, reducing the proliferation of red blight. Okay. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. Hmm. What's up, gang? After you, Aloy. I need to head further west. To, um get more of Gaia's components make her stronger you two can stay here in the meantime and Gaia can help get you up to speed I'm not trying to shut you out this it's like training actually I'm gonna go back east to get Erend bring him here look allies friends can help we have a place to stay now and like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. I am, I am absolutely down with that plan, honestly. Get Aaron, bring him here, fucking uh, grab that car, Jig, bring her here, give him focuses, get him up to speed. If we need the help, we need the help. Uh -huh. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these. A bag of focuses. <laughs> one to wear, one for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Mm -hmm. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. I. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Voice sounds like kind of echoey right now. I think that's an audio bug, maybe? Not equity. Maybe North Clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions, and who knows what else. Well, I got thirteen skill points. I should probably do something with them. <laughs> hmm. 
I mean, honestly, recovering level seven faster would be good. Still haven't gotten to the Bolt Blaster yet. Uh, I want that. Oh, I said I don't know. Techniques up in the water. Oh. So I didn't. Okay, so I didn't have to. Okay. Damn. Really, really got to check those menus. <laughs> water concentration. Recover it faster. That's good. And then just increase the level as well. I want to get down there. That's so important to me. Increase the stamina limit. That's good. Sick. I'm fine with that. Okay. This has the ascends. Super fast. Okay. I gotta I gotta get there. Right off. Alright. I haven't run into any grazers yet. Post that to the list. Oh, there's a rebel outpost nearby? Damn. Well, not 473, not near. <clears throat> Alright. Now we've run into the Apex variant. Sentry. Yeah, Claw Strider is just like a, uh, like a raptor. <laughs> what else in the notebook? Let's see. Thunder bows, regular bows, sharp shot bows. Bows are highly accurate, long range weapons, as long as drop, deal high impact tear damage. Oh, I need me a sharp shot bow, Lord Jesus. Oh, I need it. Okay. My brain needs this. Okay. Oh my god. Fire respect sites. Le broken sky. Yeah. Um, where's the nearest campfire? <sighs> going away. The snow brought the chill. Somebody here. Got him. Oh. How far down? Oh. 
Rucka. Oh, we got some friendly Tanakh folk? What's up? What's the rumors? Where's the tea? You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. True. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I hear the rebels want you dead, Outlander. But I know someone who might be willing to teach you some of their fighting techniques. Hmm. His name's Laroka. He trains the soldiers at Scalding Spear, just west of here. Don't think he'd mind seeing the champion in action. Maybe I'll pay him a visit if we're out that way. Scalding Spear. New melee pit. I've got nothing to report. I'm just trying to get in that. Wait. Okay. I assumed I could get in that Stay box. Alert, soldier. That's on me. Uh, shock, bolt, blaster. I've got the plowhorn circulator. Might as well get it. Hold on. Okay. Just buy, not equipped. So, I got nothing. But I'm here. Good paint for a good soldier. Heavy bow gun. Got it. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I need to <laughs> I need to get over there. Desperately. Oh, this campfire and then Shrek there from here. Lost strider. Campfire over here. Grazer. Ah shit. Get your towels ready, it's about to go down. <laughs> Okay, so grazers are not like charges. There was something else uh, in the first game that was like charges, though. This is a big, like, angular uh, question mark. It's not like the other ones. Huh. Oh, well, it's putting it on this one because it's the closest. That's why. I was saying, like, why is it highlighting this one? It's here. Fine. Huh? So what's... Demeter. Aether. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, then Aether is the closest. That's still really fucking far away, though. Well, that was white next to plain song. Like it's pretty close. Oh, we made it to the um. No, wait, wasn't it over here? Um, am I tripping? I thought we wanted to get in here, but I already made it to the other side. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but fast travel. Um, I'm gonna go in plain song because there's some question marks. In there. I'm 
probably the PS5. What's up? Over here, friend. I hear Tanakh rebels have taken over the border gates west of here. Best stay clear of them if you're heading that way. Thanks for the heads up. Behind her name. Hmm. More rebels. And the Ataru have enough to deal with. Maybe they could use a little help. We got side quests. Side quests plenty. Where are they at? Crazy that they built this. Like it's really cool. Please, one more search. Let this go, Bree. There is nothing to be done. The river will carry her seeds. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. <laughs> what is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. Uh, the chorus. Who has Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. I am. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. I am suspecting foul play. Ain't no way they ain't kill that girl. The Outlander catches on quick. Fast learner. The right of discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the promontory. The place where the first Dutaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey, but because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to, but as was her way, she ignored our warnings. <clears throat> she thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. Hmm. Okay. I'm not suspecting foul play anymore. <laughs> what were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain Sick. is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plainsong and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. Okay. For me, it's the idea that
is the idea that if <clears throat> that if a tree could pick up its roots as a fire was approaching, that it wouldn't. That's insane to me. Like, if you were a tree and could move, would you just not be like, oh, fuck, a fire, and fucking get out the way? <laughs> a tree cannot pick up its roots and leave as the fire approaches. I bet he would want to, though. I bet if he could, he would. <laughs> and you can, you know? Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utaro keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in Plainsong. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. I'll take a look. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. All right. nothing by month's end i understand your concern your understanding won't keep us from starkin what's going on here sounds like there's a problem we're speaking about something important outlander you'll please later a reminder of why i often prefer plants to people they're so much less demanding I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Mm. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As y'all said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, We've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. Mm. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. An apex. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Food shortage. Food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month, maybe two. The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. I saw you up there, when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't- I'd rather do that more sneakily. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Oh, well, you sent five hunters, huh? Where's a small patch of seeds? Given at birth, planted at death. Heard about it. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. Mm -hmm. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. 
Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about. I just knew. There's the survivor from the hunting party. Damn. I'm here about the machine in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll... I'll tell you what I can. Tell what, me happened? what happened? Step by step. There were five of us. Hunting for boar to help feed the tribe. Just like we had done half a dozen times before. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees, all claws and tail. It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan. Came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it. Yelled and whooped, and it turned on him. He disappeared into the trees, and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to plain song before I realized what I had done. Left Lau to die. A chew made it out. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? It looked like a claw strider, but it was stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Apex. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. I need to get going. You don't want to fight that thing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Well, if you do, I hope you cut it to shreds. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. All right. One sec, we're not done. Oh, it's uh, it's on the way. Okay. Well, if it's on the way, is that promontory? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to hit this one, so I just go across. There we go. Hmm. That's an interesting speech bubble. A word for somebody who owes you a favor? Yes. What up? Aloy. Wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Hmm. Do you need rations, Hunter? Ah, the local stew. I hope you enjoy that. Some, I guess. Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn. 
fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Hmm. Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. Well, that setup was simple enough. Okay. Wait a minute, didn't I get another? Oh, there's the old growth, okay. I had it selected, so it wasn't there. All right. Ah, oh, fine. I just didn't know what this one is. How do I get over there? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Save and let's try the A. Travel A. Oh. So now, this is a shelter. Can I do the thing to advance time? Is there the box for that? Yes. Let's go, Morgan. Yeah. All right. The sun, she is out. Horned lizard bone. I'm never gonna get that. I mean, I'd have to buy it. Okay, I'm 
going in the right direction. I can grab this from my stash later. Another one of those drones. I need to find a way to get to it before I can collect its data. These dudes evil? Oh, they're good actually. Wait, aren't these grazers? I can use shock ammo. Yeah, what do I need from these? Something. Apex. Focus your shots. What? what the hell? Nice. Now, what is this thing? God damn it. Give me the map. Survey drone? Now, what is that? That looks like a, a holdout of some kind. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Oh, I hate stepping through this stuff. <coughs> We're doing. Fire gleam, rather. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hmm. Take 
taking you with me. Going down. <laughs> we should grab the drone's data now that it's down. I've got the data. Just hold on to it for now. Fuck. Ooh. I'm so sorry. <sighs> All right. Oh, what the fuck? There's like a whole thing over here behind it. How would I get to that even? Do I go in there? I mean, I guess not. Okay, well. I can't, uh. Let this go. <coughs> ah! Nice. Green shine. I'm in luck. <coughs> letting me go what is that Long way. my focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon I'll have to fly up there oh no it's blocked by the thing I can't get by the wreckage is scattered Signal seems to be coming from behind those vines. Got a shrimp pile. What is that? Not much I can do about those vines for now. Black box. Okay, well. I mean, I'm very close to the promontory right now, so I might as well just go there. Uh. We've been over this, you can't. <coughs> right, I'm right here. Here, just we'll, uh, highlight that. Fuck, it's like spotted. 
She is tough. Acid's no use here. What's up? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I had the campfire. Apparently I was close enough. Oh, and there's something past it up there too. Lord Jesus. Okay. We're done here. Back to the road. Ugh, Ridgewood. More. More. <laughs> going on up here looks like Kawhi and the search party took down a few machines when they were here Grazers. busy filling up the canisters on their backs there's the broken bridge I'm gonna have to take care of these machines before I can look around another one up there <sighs> Oh, God. Whoa.
Land. for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. Ugh. I, okay. I actually gotta use those things weakness. <laughs> Must be from the search party. And there's <clears throat> a lot here. Hold on. Interesting color for my armor. Comes in bloom. Where was that dire? Did I get that other razor tail? Uh, I guess I did. Oh, there's a box. Oh no, it's crazy. Okay. He said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. 
Mm. Looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. <sighs> Debris. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. Then up we go. We get a strong color out of this. Sure was I, Aloy. An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the rite of discovery started. Debris on the trail. It looks like pieces of a bridge. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> if Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. Doesn't add up that she fell. Hmm. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. Let's rummage first, you know. Playing song, just like the first Utaru saw it. Yep. Flowers, ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. But before we solve this obvious murder, let me IP.
All right, I'm back. Now let's solve this obvious murder. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. Hold on. Bree mentioned this was part of the Rite of Discovery. All of the marks look old. Kalai must not have gotten to this part. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Trail ends here with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. the other woman Kalai. those marks on her neck she was strangled damn at least I can return her seed pouch to Bree So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Uh-oh. Right. Prowler? And subsiding. I 
think this fight's over just yet. Uh oh. Stalker's got a friend. Just what I needed. Stalker, that's what it is. Stalker, uh, Stalker Week 2, I don't know. Okay, I shot the mine launcher off. That's what it was. Good thing to shoot off, eh? I think that's it on the top. Oh, no! Oh my god. Oh god, now I have to fight too. Right there. God damn it. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is no good. gonna have to start exploding them oh, stalker's got a friend just what i needed Oh, fuck. Your weapon can make this okay. I better grab the killer's seed pouch. Might help identify her. Yo. Lot to search. Hold on. Mm, I can refill my patch with these later.
<sighs> the problem with stalkers is you most likely only encounter them when they're invisible. You can't see the parts you need to knock off. Like, I think I figured out where its cloaking device is. It's in, like, its undercarriage. But he only ever showed it when, like, he was raised up. I really can see it. Hold on. Grazer. Got him. And Stalker. Okay. Is it on its back? Uh, I didn't see that. Okay, it's a dart gun. That, yeah, yeah, it is an, an it's undercarriage. It's stealth generator. And it's a key upgrade resource. Of course it is. Mm hmm Weak to shock damage. I think the only way I'd be able to get the part is if I overrid it and then just, uh, like, shot it a bunch myself. Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. It's a good thing I got a fucking fast travel pack, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're going to this campfire, though. And, uh, fight whatever this thing is in the old growth. And then, uh, where's the other one with, um... Uh, the dude who, like, left or whatever. Hmm, I can get the, the sharp shot bone now, too. Because it said it was close. It was like 400 steps away. From my current position. I think it'd be somewhere in this map. Close to it. Oh, unknown machine strike. <laughs> what do you mean? Gonna go here though. Uh, so I'm gonna. All right. A, a thousand? Where? Where are you? <laughs> Oh, the old growth is an errand. Okay, I don't know. I guess that makes sense. This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. Hmm. Oh, it's not going to take much damage from fire.
We are fucking around with apexes. The apex scraper. Burrower and yeah, another scraper. Nothing nearby. Must be one of the hunters. Gotta take out these machines before I can grab the seat pouch. <laughs> oh. Volatile sludge. Nah, come a little closer. Nice to know it picks a uh, scrap of still single hit. The hunter's seat pouch. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them. I better check for tracks with my focus. There, claw strider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Strider must have caught up to them. Okay, got the seed pouch. <sighs> Better pick up the Claw Strider's tracks and keep going. 
It's better than anything I can make. The third hunter. I should collect their seed pouch. He died where the claw strider caught him. At least I can return his seed pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Lost Rider probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. It's sticky, like tree sap. I don't think it was from the Claw Strider. Maybe from a weapon? Hmm. Uh, looks like the Claw Strider continued up the cliff. Wow, gave it quite the chase. Cliff's covered in gouge marks. Machine must have clawed its way up. It looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Mm. Slowed it down while the hunter kept running. Tires tracks end here, and no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know why these machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. Don't have to worry about its tail if I shoot it off. <sighs> why did I drink it then? It was a bad time. What? Probably some damage fall off there. Uh oh. 
Ow. Machines were interested in that crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. Got a feeling Lao was pretty resourceful. Huh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't like fighting those things. Hey, he's alive. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... Hmm? I can handle it from here. There I can slow it down for you. Stay back and don't fire until I do. Watch for its claws. Oh, just this hunter killers. Apex claw strider. I fucking missed. Uh oh. No! I've got your back. Oh my god. Fuck. Move. Ow, oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, this is awkward. All right.
It's done. We did it. Look that tail. That was good, but it's Lau, right? Ben thinks he left you for dead. He made it back. I was worried about him. He said you saved him by getting the claustrator to chase you. Huh. And he saved me by sending you after me, so we're even. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. Then here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this, not for a while. Hmm. One more hunter gets to go home. <gasps> I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale. <clears throat> An ammo that builds adhesive buildup is now available in your inventory. Get fast moving enemies. These build up to. I have to build up to the slow state. That's the state enemies' movements are slowed, making them easier to target and track. Sick. All right. Uh, damn, they really don't put campfires anywhere you need them. Uh, where is it? Is that a thousand? Oh, fucking Stone's Echo. Isn't that uh, this place back here? Yeah. Let's change the game. I'm stupid. <laughs> Where stones that go? It's like back here, right? Ah, there we go. Uh, that's card can. Yeah, okay. We can't fire right here. Okay, hold on a sec. And there are more variations still. Hey, what's in here? Pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Jax, man, what's up? They call me worried about you. Outlander, spare a moment, please. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanaka's hold up in that cave. Mm -hmm. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spear at my side. I'll do what I can. You got you, bro. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. Hmm. So far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. <laughs> Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help. If you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. 
could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. <sighs> Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? Yeah, what's the deal? What do we got to lose? <clears throat> training mission? What's up? You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Oh, Everything no. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. Mistakes were made. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to knock, but offered to Utaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Mm. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on a brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Hey. Right. Let's mosey. Oh, damn. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> so you say. Calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. <laughs> Damn, all right, all right. We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the outlander camp down the road. Tre oh. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. Hey, what's up? Where's she off to? Patience, Igor. She'll be back. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh... Them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of data. Um, 
Should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? <laughs> Maybe Back. we still can. All right, how did you find this place? Oh my god, I can see one in the background. Is that a what is that? That's a wide ma, I think. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the west, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promise a bounty of artifacts, a promise that hasn't been kept. At least so far, those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. <laughs> Why come west? There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the west. Why? I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. Ah, bit of a bit of a lover's quarrel, I see. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the sight seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to <laughs> say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Osaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. Damn. Ha! <laughs> Not a chance unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm going to follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Good, you're back. Throughout those machines I think I fell asleep listening to this farmer. Mobile cover I system. heard that eagle. Nah, swim fast. You're too slow. Well, keep me awake. Wide Maw. Mm -hmm. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Austin Hawk. I don't say nothing. Machines. I'm going in. No. Aloy's on point. Follow her lead.
Oh, damn. Give me that jaw. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Aren't I lucky? I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supplies should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? <laughs> what are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Ooh. Okay. Gotta find a way into the ruins. Usually I detest old people because they're shitty. But this guy seems okay. And he's right about the experience. Why do these notifications have to be so big? <laughs> uh, did I strip everything? Here we go. I know it was fun. All right. How do we get up here? <clears throat> How do we climb? <coughs> Yeah, I wanted to listen to him. I heard him. Oh, there they are. Okay. Now, how do we approach it? I'm guessing from the back? From the back? Ah. some kind of basement gotta find a way up <laughs> she has a fucking problem bro she's like i have to parkour i must should be at the top of the tower but how to get up there I'll mark the spot in my focus come back later lines from a metal flower it doesn't look like it's blocking the way up though Okay. Hmm. Ah. Wait, how do I? Can I get up?
Why is bro so close? I don't like how close he is. Hmm. Oh, I can't jump high enough to reach that though. Ah. There we go. Did this help me in some way? <laughs> what was that? That machine shrug off acid. No good. Hmm. <laughs> It just chilling. Okay. Oh, okay. Blocks. Get out of the way. Uh. Ah. God damn it. Holy. Holy schmoly. I'll try to raise it to, oh my god. I had a lot of shit in it. Doesn't look like Sakura supplies. And there are caches all over the gaff. Okay. 
Ash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. up in the tippity top tippers baby these are the supplies won't last them very long wide ma yep i can't leave that kid alone for a second Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I gotta catch up. Hold on. I got one. Oh shit. This isn't the cash I came to find. It's done. <sighs> I better check on Jax and Sakura. Hey, y'all good? Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? <laughs> Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way, but it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Mm. Can't they stay in plainsong? 
Plain song has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Hmm. Oh, that's the, that's the dick side. Hmm. Might as well. No, <laughs> my mount. God damn, dude. I wish I could send them away. Uh oh. These must be the machines that Gandalf and Rashavid were talking about. And <laughs> jagged deep bell. Okay, we got a we got a wide maw and a scrapper. Okay, that's not bad. Oh no, there's a second wide maw over there. I see him. Weak spot, but it's indestructible. God damn it.
Fuck. Oh my god. Got his There we go. Time to follow up. Oh, cool. Doesn't look like there's much here. <sighs> These ruins fall off into the water. Won't be able to dive too deep, though. I should take a look at the ruins under the water. See if I can find any clues. Did I kill this? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you got caught in crossfire. Hold on. Uh... Level 22, it says. This shit scares me. Let me get back to the There's something jammed in that console underwater. But I can't hold my breath long enough to yank it out. So what do?
I guess we come back when I have whatever that thing is I need. Like, uh, I mean, I'm guessing it's a rebreather because that seems like what it's going to be. am I supposed to tell them that I failed? Speak the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. Hmm. So, we're all stocked up then? The cash was empty. It's a transcript. We'll be all right without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No. Jax, you said Plain Song has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just? I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plain Song, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. Mm. The Corps won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanat can stop me. They will be foolish to try. <laughs> I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. I got him in spades. My thanks, and theirs too, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, where's out, y'all? This. I we go. I think. No, that's wrong. Ah. Don't worry, guys. I found it. Big ol' thunder jaw. Like, yeah, this shit about survival, right? Right? Okay. And just, like, uh, leave. If the Tanakh, they're giving you trouble, hit the bricks. You can just leave. <laughs> or sure. We've only gone backwards. Oh yeah. Everything else. Or, uh, <clears throat> the other side quest finished up with Plain Song, right? Okay. 
Let's head back there. I'm gonna buy some more fast travel packs. Because they are useful. It's great that they're so cheap, too. I still need to still need to get over here. I still haven't done that yet. I've been going for seven hours. It has not felt like that long. There we go. One more hour. I gotta pee. We're back. You always got something to say. What's up? There's a word of warning. Avoid the ruins northwest of Plain Song. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. Restless wield. Now where is that? Over there? Okay. Where is that natural? Well, it's next to a... Next to a campfire, we've got a question mark over here. It's probably some gleam or those vines and a grazer site. I know, I apparently know this grazer site is here. It's not an unknown grazer site, even though it's still covered in fog. Odd, peculiar, peculiar and odd. Something lighting up the ruins. The old world tech might be worth taking a look, but of course, um, I think there was some foul play involved. We all 
lament Calais' death, but perhaps... Shut your ass up. That's Calais. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. <laughs> I found Calais and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. <clears throat> The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Mm. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she. You there? Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the east gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away. She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. Mm -hmm. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. Okay, so it wasn't them, but <clears throat> when I figured it out. We on your ass. Damn. <laughs> Only I had that campfire right there. Okay. Hold on a sec. There's another thing. Here. Is this one? The old growth. Yeah. That's an errand. Oh, look. Hey. There's Shale. I should give her the seed pouches I recovered from the old growth. A word, Aloy. Aloy. Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Is it safe to send out another hunting party? It's never going to be completely safe out there. But the Clostrider is dead. Here. The seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. <sighs> I'm sure Lau and Ben would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. Mm -hmm. Hi again. I was hoping I could talk with him, but oh well. Wait, who uh, who do I buy stuff from here? Hunting goods. Oh, that's right, my bow. I was like, wait a minute. I let you real quick. What's good with you? Give me like six of these mugs. Like right. Uh, I don't use the impact spike drawer, so that's where we're going to put that. <clears throat> Can I upgrade? Yes. More damage. Damn, fellow back. Roll a rock. A roller back, my bad. All right, but we got a little bit more damage on it. Five on. Uh, 
Oh, reduce accuracy. Cannot be any ball sliding. Oh, I'm sorry. May you ever walk in fields of oh, they actually have uh, <laughs> lines for when you bump into them. The Alright, you know this. They just talk so much shit, though. Alright, that's everything in here. Uh. Can't engage in combat with my fucking uh, steed because <laughs> they'll always die. I just have to jump off away from the fight. <clears throat> So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. <laughs> she wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. You're looking not so hot since the last time I've seen you. It's the way of the world. The tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. Hmm. You think you stopped Kali's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No. She needed to stand trial. Kalai deserves justice. Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but... I want you to have this. As thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people, dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, 
It seems I must thank you for revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. There's always an upside. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. Kel would have gotten away with murder. If not for you, Aloy. I'll always be grateful you exposed Kel's treachery. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in plain song. You made that possible. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many in plain song. You've done enough for us, Al. Go while the roots are strong. I'll make sure Kel's body is properly seen to. Okay. <clears throat> I have to go to the. Can I? No, I can't travel there. Damn. It was highlighted in white, so I thought, oh, maybe I can just, I can just go there. <laughs> I apparently don't know what this is. All right. I think that was all those side missions taken care of. I believe so. There's the bind on hopes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I Yes. from my stash when I need it. Goddamn. Machine muscle. Um... I need to see what this unknown is. I think every time I load into this area, that's just gonna happen, so. Ah, uh, okay. Good old blocked path. <clears throat> Oh. 
not much point to using acid here. Hold on. Uh, machine master. I think this had to do with, um, or some of this had to do with like the, the sharpshooter bow. Maybe I could be chipping. I'm probably chipping. <clears throat> What's that on the hunter? Here we go. A double notch for the sharp shot though. Ooh, I only got seven. I'm probably not making it there. <laughs> There we go. Double notched up. Razor sharp claws and arm to the teeth. Hmm. Oh my fucking... Hey! What do you mean? Got it. Oh. oh oh no
God damn. Yeah, all right. Hello? Can't, I can't get to it. of green shine. Yeah, no people up there, but cash allure. No mount sash. Got grazers. Catch my breath here. Now we're good. We don't need it. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Uh oh. -uh. Chain. Those weren't even stealth kills. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. <laughs> hey, you, Madam Badass. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. That's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. Ula. We get to loot the bodies as I go. You know. But it won't be long till they return for an all out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that, they taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Mm. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. Yeah, so where are we going? Let's lead the way. Thank God he's faster than my walking speed. We may speak freely here. Let me hit this quick save real quick. All right. What's up? What's good? Hey, hold on. Good with you. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I send my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Mm hmm Boss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. <laughs> You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't plain song help. Plain Song has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. We could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Hmm. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Your daughter's seeds. I'm sorry about your daughter. The Raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. The drum route? What makes the path up to the drum route so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people, but machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. Who? I don't think I caught your name. Q. Ah, I Q. Am the metal weaver of River Hem. 
but all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. I hear you, bro. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Metal pots. Tell me more about these metal pots. They are tricky to collect. The wide moss sold them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those pods and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Take care not Hear to back from your family yet? Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. I think I'm getting anywhere through here. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to climb in this cave. There's these tunnels up here. There might be some underwater. Maybe they can lead me someplace with a path through these caves. were made by machines. I should take a seat pouch to Q. It seems to mean a lot to the Ataru. <sighs> Car horse. In the middle of the cave mouth, probably. Looks like it's strong against shock damage.
Let's find a way up these caves. Okay. Oh, hey. All right, what am I missing here? Oh, over there. Find those white moss. There they are. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here.
these jaws look like they could smell me. Oh, God. Hmm. I can override Burrowers now. I'm not going to do that. Is that an apex? No. Should do. Ooh, okay. <laughs>
Okay, I think I need one more. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh my! I'm I glad I bought those fast travel effects. Hello. You, my guy. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find boss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Oh damn, they back. Do they have any machines with them? Oh! 
going. Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. What is this? It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. This is both fat. Safe out there. Ah, got his shark fat though. You stood with us when none would. Okay, uh, uh, let me go out front here. I think there's maybe some parts lying around I didn't pick up. Maybe, yeah. Can we get both the bristleback tusks? I remember I shooting them both off. The first bloom of the winter song. Hmm. I can feel the heaviness of my ears fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. <laughs> now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. I mean, did look out. Hold on. There's a bench over here. If you want to improve your next hunt, let's trade. Oh. What you got? Fast travel pack. Oh, just resources and tools. Okay. Right, tell you something though. Hold on. Oh wait. Uh those fast shuttle packs are useful, eh? Then even. Alright. Uh we've got this hunting ground, two rubble camps we know about. I need my rebreather if I'm gonna tackle that uh, that place. And then there's a melee pit somewhere. I think it's like further out. Yeah, there's the melee. Oh, we're on our way to passes by the melee pit. Okay. I mean, if we start from here, but like, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna head up here. Uh, it's still kind of on the way. Yeah, we could we could go there. There's a tall neck as well. Alright, alright, alright. There's 
black box over here. The cauldron. So much to do, but we're making our way. Hmm, I think this hunting ground is the next destination. I think that's good. Let me check. I got four skill points. Let's check the survivor tree, right? Hmm. Oh, I should try that shredder. Yo. Man, so many of these tools are useful and I'm just not using them. It's kind of fucked up. Now what in the fuck is that? Just all the way over here. Uh, away from everything. The fuck is that? Whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's our next destination. Actually, yeah. Save right here. Press the palm. Then we'll hit another one. Just in case something goes wrong. I sell all you need to succeed. Okay. All right. Hey, yo, uh, hold on. That was a lot. We made a good bit of progress there, I think. That was nice. Oh, but that's it. It's been eight hours. That was some good that, that was some good that was a good long Rise of the Forbidden West session. That was eight hours. My name's Wayne. And until next time. I was never here. Shit. Until next time. <laughs> I was never here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here.